the giant cybernetic lion roamed through the neon jungle, its metallic body glinting in the psychedelic light. Its bright blue mane stood out against the vibrant colors of the landscape, and its eyes glowed with an otherworldly intensity. The jungle was filled with strange and exotic plants, their leaves and petals glowing with a rainbow of colors. The ground was covered in a thick layer of soft moss, and the air was thick with the sweet scent of blooming flowers. The lion walked along the edge of a cliff, overlooking the sparkling river below. It was a peaceful scene, but the lion knew that danger lurked around every corner in this strange and surreal world. As it continued its journey, the lion heard a faint rustling in the bushes. It tensed up, ready for whatever was about to come its way. Suddenly, a group of strange creatures burst out from the undergrowth. They were small, furry creatures with long, pointed ears and sharp teeth. They were armed with tiny swords and shields, and they charged at the lion with reckless abandon. The lion bared its metal teeth and let out a mighty roar. The creatures hesitated for a moment, then charged again. The lion swatted them away with a massive paw, sending them tumbling through the air. The creatures regrouped and charged again, but the lion was ready for them this time. It leapt into the air, its metal body glinting in the neon light. It landed among the creatures and began to swipe at them with its massive claws. The battle raged on for what seemed like hours. The creatures were fierce and determined, but the lion was stronger and more powerful. In the end, the lion emerged victorious, standing tall among the fallen creatures. As the lion continued its journey through the neon jungle, it came across a strange and mysterious cave. The entrance was shrouded in thick vines and moss, and the air was thick with a strange, musty scent. The lion hesitated for a moment, then stepped inside. The cave was dark and eerie, with strange shadows dancing on the walls. The lion's eyes glowed bright blue, illuminating the darkness. Suddenly, the lion heard a faint whispering sound. It turned its head and saw a figure standing in the shadows. It was a woman, with long, flowing hair and a dress made of shimmering silk. The woman beckoned to the lion, and it followed her deeper into the cave. The air grew colder and more damp, and the shadows grew darker and more sinister. Finally, the woman led the lion to a small chamber deep within the cave. In the center of the chamber was a glowing crystal, pulsing with a strange and otherworldly energy. The woman whispered a spell, and the crystal began to glow brighter. Suddenly, the lion felt a strange sensation, as if its very being was being pulled apart and put back together again. When the sensation passed, the lion looked down at its paws and saw that they were no longer made of metal. They were flesh and bone, just like any other lions. The woman smiled, then disappeared, into the shadows. The lion was left alone in the chamber, feeling both exhilarated and terrified by the strange and surreal experience. As the lion made its way back through the neon jungle, it realized that it had been forever changed by the experience. It had seen things that no other creature had seen, and it had been transformed in ways that it couldn't even begin to understand. But one thing was certain, the neon jungle would never be the same again. The lion had left its mark on this strange and surreal world, and it would never be forgotten.